Chapter 3 Science and Technology and Nation Building Selected Indigenous Science and Technologies in the Philippines For the learning objectives, in this video, we will first know the Indigenous Science and Technology in the Philippines, the Indigenous Knowledge System, the Indigenous People in the Philippines, and the Indigenous Beliefs. Let's start in Indigenous Science. Before the hyperization of the country, early Filipinos have exhibited science and technology and their ways of life. This informal scientific and technological knowledge that they exhibited and practiced were influenced by factors such as survival, culture, and economic activities through their ways in agriculture, methods and livestock, growing and food production, the scientific knowledge of the early inhabitants of the country is manifested. These methods and ways of work of the early Filipinos are now termed as folk science or other times indigenous science. Indigenous Science and Technology in the Philippines Science and technology in the Philippines describes scientific and technological progress made by the Philippines and analysis related policy issues. Science and technology is an interdisciplinary topic encompassing science, technology, and their interactions. And we have indigenous knowledge system. Embedded in the cultural traditions of regional indigenous or local communities, early past, and evident in stories, poems, and songs. We have here the examples of indigenous knowledge that are thought and practiced by indigenous people. Prediction of weather, using herbal medicine, preserving of foods, classifying plants and animals into families, selecting good seeds for planting, using indigenous technology, building local irrigation, classifying different types of soil for planting, producing wines from tropical fruits, and keeping the custom of the growing plants and vegetables. Indigenous people in the Philippines There are various indigenous Filipino ethnic groups and tribes in the Philippines. We have Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And we have the map of the Philippines. The color red are in the Luzon, the color yellow in Visayas, and the color black in the Mindanao. Prediction of weather. Predicting weather conditions and seasons by observing animal behavior and celestial bodies. We have Puwikni Killing or Storm of the Killing, Shining Moon with a Rainbow, Encircling or a Bloody Red Sunset. Kasili, or mythical fish, during New Year, when the cow or horse eat grass, whale it meant drought, and when the goats repeatedly whale, there will be a landslide. Medicine. 14 plants used by the Tadyawans. We have two examples of it. We have banana and coconut. Herbolarius or herbalist. A person who practices healing by the uses of herbs. Tuob or steam inhalation, or also called steam therapy. It involves the inhalation of water vapor. The warm, moist air is thought to work by loosening the mucus in the na nasal passage, throat, and lungs. And we have anino, or morenda citrifolia. Morenda citrifolia is a fruit-bearing tree in the coffee family. Its native range extends across South Asia and Australasia, and was spread across the Pacific by Polynesian sailors. Preserving of foods, we have itag. Itag is the general term used in Cordillera about native tradition way or preserving pork. Slab from a big slice of pork is cored in a salt for about a weeks or months or both. Itag may not be appealing to the uninitiated because it has a full odor and most often has maggots after several days of air drying the meat. Probably because of it, 
exposure to flies. As it undergoes the aging process, itag is often covered on the surface with a thin layer of milky white molds similar to when aging a cheese. The molds are rinsed off and itag is safe and ready to cook. Agriculture We have Banawi Rasteraces and Sweden Farming. Banawi Rasteraces are terraces that were curved into mountains of Banawi Ifugao in the Philippines. By the ancestors of the Igrot people, the terraces are occasionally called the Eighth Wonder of the World. It is commonly thought that the terraces were built with minimal equipment, largely by hand. Sweden Farming Sweden farming, also known as shifting cultivation or milpa in Latin. America is conventionally defined as an agricultural system in which temporary clearing are crop for fewer years than they are allowed to remain fallow. While certainly correct, this definition reflects a Western or modern emphasis on the relatively short period when annual food and other crops are grown. Sweden can also be taught as a forest farming. Since the following period is typically long, managed and often cultivated as well, although with potential species rather than annuals. In technology, we have Pandikdik, or wooden mortar and pezzo. Wooden mortar and pezzle remain one of the most popular kitchen tools in the preparation of some special meals. For the most part, they have been in a vogo for lots of years, doing a perfect job in grinding or crushing species. So, are wooden mortar and pezzle good? Yes, they are good and perfect for household uses, most especially in the kitchen. The wooden mortar and pestle are known to be one of the best kitchen items. We all know that not all grinders can be used in grinding some species, as such as the wooden mortar and pestle are needed to help achieve this purpose. Such kitchen tools can be used over a long period without wearing or even tearing down. Their durability is internal except proper care is it given to it? With their top-notch finishing, expect simply quality and the best. Next, we have banig or woven mat. A woven mat is a type of mat that is created by waving and may include sawali. Woven split bamboo mats used in the Philippines to construct wall stool. Shoe. Mat of woven reed guard to a horse shoe. Toga. Finely woven mat with high cultural value in some one correct mat. Flat woven decorative knot which can be used as a mat or pad makiso. Mat woven from bamboo and cotton string that is used in Japanese food. Preparation tatami. A flooring material in traditional Japan. Often of woven rush banig, hand woven mat usually used in East Asia and Philippines for sleeping red mat. Handmade mats of plaited red kajan, a type of home in Asia. We have kabayo or coconut grater, an old fashioned equipment used mostly for grating coconut steel on its shell. Traditional Filipino homes has this most have kitchen tool, especially those who love to cook or do delicacies with coconut. The coconut grater or shredder, commonly known in the Philippines as kudguran or kudguran ng yom. This humble and simple machine, made of an elongated wood for its bench and its metal grater attached on its four parts, is used to segregate or separate the coconut flesh from its shell. In order to use, you have to set on it other and opposite to its grater, with your legs apart and with your hands holding the half-cut coconut while grating it and its shredder manually, also called as igad in Ilocano, kudguran in Bisaya, or 
Kaguran. And we have Pasagad. Bullock slid. Bullock slid or cart, a bullock cart or ox cart is a two-wheeled, four-wheeled or slid pulled vehicle powered by oxen. It is a means of transportation used since ancient times in many parts of the world. They are still used today where modern vehicles are too expensive or the infrastructure does not favor them. Used especially for carrying goods, the bullock cart is pulled by the one or several oxen or bullocks. Producing wines. We have tape or rice wine. A rice wine produced in the Philippines. It is a traditional beverage originated from Banawi and the Mountain Province, where it is used for important occasions such as weddings, rice harvesting ceremonies, fiestas, and cultural fields. It is produced from either pure glutinous rice or a combination of glutinous and non-glutinous rice together with anuad roots, ginger extract, and a powdered starter culture, or locally known as budbud. And we have houses. Build their houses on a hillside, hunt, and subanan house. Subanan is an indigenous group to the Sambuanga Peninsula area, particularly living in the mountainous areas of Sambuanga del Sur and Misamis Occidental, Mindanao Island, Philippines. The Subanan people speak the Subanan language. Indigenous Science Part of the indigenous knowledge system practiced by different groups of people and early civilizations. Indigenous Beliefs According to Johnson, in 2000, indigenous beliefs also develop desirable values namely motivating attitudes, cooperating attitudes, practical attitudes, and reflective attitudes. Indigenous science uses science process skills guided by community culture and values and composed of traditional knowledge. And now we are in a conclusion. Indigenous science is important that it helps the people in understanding the natural environment and in coping with everyday life. Thank you for watching. We hope you have learned a lot about this topic.